to the real world. It sucks. You're gonna love it. It's never been a better time to go and be a Friends fan. The iconic sitcom that launched many actors' careers has just had its reunion special, and everyone wants to sing I'll Be There For You. And while we will talk about the reunion, we also need to look at just how much the cast has grown since their time on the show. So with that being said, allow us to show you Friends, then and now. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Jennifer Aniston Let's start with the characters and actresses who were the true breakout stars of the series. As Rachel Green, Jennifer Aniston portrayed the woman that just about everyone was rooting for. She started off the series by trying to be more independent, not living off her family's fortune and trying to have her own life with friends and loved ones, which of course started one of the longest on-again, off-again relationships with Ross. Yeah. Aniston's acting helped make Rachel lovable, but her look sealed the deal, if you will. Her hairstyle literally became famous, and it was the hairstyle for women during the show's run. No, really, it was called The Rachel, and a lot of women got it after the show. Being a part of many major motion pictures, marrying and then divorcing Brad Pitt, and so on. And you could also argue that her success has been the longest lasting, because she's a part of the Apple TV series The Morning Show, where she won a SAG award for outstanding performance by a female actor in a drama series. And The Morning Show was a major hit on the service and renewed on the platform, mainly because of how Aniston performed. Every show has a breakout player, and Aniston was that, and she made the most of that success, no doubt. David Schwimmer. And now to the other side of the Rachel equation, Ross. Poor, sweet, lovable Ross. David Schwimmer played Ross Geller, a paleontologist who, at times, just had the worst luck on the show, especially when it came to women. For example, Ross had a son named Ben with a woman named Carol, who he divorced after learning that she was a lesbian. Ross went on to have another failed relationship with Emily, who he married in England after a whirlwind relationship. They split after Emily told Ross to cut off contact with Rachel, which he refused to do. And then, of course, by the end of the series, him and Rachel finally got together. For good, no takebacks. Mainly because fans would have rioted if they had deprived them of that again and again. So what has he been doing post-Friends? A lot, actually, in certain respects. During his time on the show, he was on the hit HBO miniseries Band of Brothers in a key recurring role. The actor also voiced Melman the giraffe in the Madagascar movies. Later on, Schwimmer starred as Robert Kardashian on The People v. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. His performance as the lawyer also earned him a Primetime Emmy nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor. He also currently has a show on Peacock, the NBC streaming service called Intelligence, which got a second season that'll air in early June. So while he may not have been as successful as Rachel, we mean Aniston, his success is there for all to see. Courtney Cox Monica was not just the sister to Ross, but a neat freak and someone who also had a rough time in relationships, which was a heavily debated thing in the pilot episode, believe it or not. She and Chandler got married during season 7 and adopted twins. On the series finale, Monica and Chandler moved out of their purple painted apartment so they could raise their children in Westchester. Courtney has had some interesting shows over the years that have had mixed success, like the FX series Dirt or Cougar Town that was on both ABC and TBS and lasted six seasons. She'll be appearing in the upcoming Scream 5 movie that'll reunite much of the original cast, and it's highly anticipated. Cox has also done some key producing work on shows that were nominated for Emmys, and she's proven that she's willing to go outside of her comfort zone to try out new things and see where life takes her. Matthew Perry Matthew Perry played Chandler Bing, who always had a big mouth and wasn't afraid to shoot it off and make sarcastic remarks at anyone in range. However, while Perry's character might have been funny on TV, his real life was anything but. During his time on Friends, he got addicted to pain medication, and that led him to going to rehab and later on needing therapy. The other sad thing is that despite his obvious talent, 
he wasn't really able to get another series to attach his name to. He had plenty of attempts via The Odd Couple, Go On, and Mr. Sunshine, but they just didn't last too long. After their reunion special, the team made sure to make clear that he was strong and doing better, which is good because we'd hate for anything to happen to him. Lisa Kudrow Kudrow was, of course, Phoebe Buffay, the lady who also didn't have a lot of luck in a variety of ways, and she kind of deserved it at times. After Friends, Kudrow landed parts in movies like P.S. I Love You, Neighbors, Easy A, and The Girl on the Train. Kudrow lent her voice to characters on BoJack Horseman and The Boss Baby. She also played Lori Ann Schmidt on Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and Cherie on Grace and Frankie, in addition to guest starring on The Good Place during its finale. Kudrow also created and starred on the Showtime series Web Therapy, which lasted for four seasons. So, her luck did turn around. About time, Phoebe. Matt LeBlanc Joey was a womanizer and had an obsession with food. His legendary signature pickup line was, How you doing? Which worked on everyone, including Phoebe. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Matt was the only cast member to try and continue the Friends legacy, if you will, by doing his own sitcom called Joey. But it didn't last beyond two seasons. Since then, LeBlanc has appeared on Kudrow's Web Therapy. The actor's role on the show Episodes, which lasted from 2011 to 2017, earned him a Golden Globe Award, something only Aniston can match. Later on, he was brought onto the popular car show Top Gear, and then got a much more successful sitcom via Man with a Plan that lasted four seasons. And as you'll see in the reunion special, he still knows how to be Joey when the time comes. The HBO Max Special Finally, the reunion special, the one where we get back together, has now gone live for everyone to go and enjoy. And yes, the entire main cast are back in that special. They wouldn't have it any other way. The actors confirmed the reunion in February 2020 by sharing a photo that was used for their 1995 Rolling Stone cover. The stars also served as executive producers and got quite a pretty penny to go and do the reunion. It was filmed at Warner Bros. Studios Stage 24 in Burbank, California, which is where the original series was taped. As noted by Courtney Cox, they were going to talk about the show's history, impact, and more. The exciting thing is that we're all going to get together for the first time in a room and actually talk about the show, Cox said, while appearing on an episode of Kevin Nielsen's web series titled Hiking with Kevin. We're going to have the best time, she added, explaining that the main cast only met up twice since the show ended. It's going to be great. We really haven't all done that and actually sat there and talked about and reminisced about this incredible experience that we had. And not too long before the reunion special aired, a special trailer was released for it and showcased not only the friends getting together, but having fun by doing trivia with one another, talking with each other in a closed set area, and then going out amongst groups of people, social distance people, mind you, and talking about the show ad nauseum. As you watch the reunion special, you'll see all sorts of things like the emotions on the cast as they talk about their feelings about one another, the show itself, and how it all affected their lives. And in fact, after the reunion show aired, many of the friends admitted that they were hanging out with each other more often because they didn't want that feeling to go away. Very classy. There you have it, the Friends cast, then and now. Were you glad that you got to see them get back together and act as if they never split up? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.